Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, teacher. That's great. That's great. So tell me, how's everything? How was your day? Mm -hmm. My day was great, but same well, routine. Dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah, please tell me. Mm, well, you know, same routine. It was a good day, but same routine. Not, not too much to tell. <laughs> but in general, it was a great day. And what about you, teacher? How was your day? It's great, it's great. Nice. See, what about me? What about my day? Well, not so much, you know. Uh, working. And let's see. And working. <laughs> and working. And working, yeah, no much. I mean, you know, that's my day. Yeah. Mm. That's my day, let's see. Oh, well, actually, I, I just finished. A, a, I had a meeting, but uh, I made it short because then I had to do some homework, you know, statistics. Uh, your favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my favorite subject. Oh, I enjoy it so much as you wouldn't imagine. But I mean, the thing is that man, the the the, the teacher, the professor, he gets excited. Would you believe? Uh, uh, it's just one exercise. Uh, Twenty. It's just. I mean. 20 exercises on one homework. Oh my God. Oh yeah, crazy. And I, and I think that um, each exercise is, I don't know, like difficult? Uh, the problem is that we are we are talking with about formulas and you know that mm. I'm doing a word a document and I am inserting formulas and then uh, doing the whole process. It's tedious. Mm -hmm. And like uh, tonight after I finish this class, I need to make a, a tree diagram. That's crazy. A mm. big one. But uh, start the class, and then I have to watch a movie in order to do uh, another exercise. Mm. And because I need to make an analysis mm -hmm. of that movie. Okay, I will do something. Just don't go, don't go. I'll, I'll keep on talking. Uh, I have to do an analysis of that movie and. That's going to be like troublesome because I have to, I need to watch the movie. And it's I kind of from tomorrow. You have to present the, the analysis, the 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 report or the I guess it was like kind of for yesterday. <laughs> it's like everything <laughs> is for right now. Yeah. And I have for tomorrow. I tomorrow I have to read a, a document like fifty eight pages, and then answer a couple of questions from there. It's fun, you know, fun. I don't know why or how. How you you have time for to do all that stuff? You know. Oh, it's quite simple. I go to bed and as soon as I put my head on the bed, I'm asleep. Like one minute after I lay down on the bed, I'm asleep. And 
every second that I'm awake, I'm like doing something. Mm -hmm. As well, simple as that. And you get used to it, but it's just gonna be a couple of years, so no big deal. Okay. Yeah, you know. I mean, I'm gonna rest when I die. I'm gonna have more than enough time. My my grandma used to to she used to to tell me that. Really? Mm-hmm. That's cool. So you see, we got something in common with the granny. Oh, yeah, let's, teacher. Let's see, Eliana, Eliana, I am checking the platform with everybody. I, okay. I, I already finished, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you just got a problem in one onward. Oh, yeah, they are fixing that problem. I guess, I guess. They fix, I yeah, wish. that. Yeah, the answer was like cutting in two parts. I don't know, yeah. the final. To be honest, to be honest with you, it, that's not the problem. The problem is a little bit bigger than that. And oh. I made a report last night and we're still waiting for them to fix it up. And and what what is the, the real problem with the exercise? The real problem with the exercise is that the they said the answer, but when they were like programming it, mm -hmm. they didn't, you need to give the, the options and you mm -hmm. have to check one as the correct one. Mm -hmm. And there's none checked. No, no check. There's, there's not even one check us. I mean, uh, we check right now if they did it, no, it's not solved yet. Yeah, well, I think that that in that exercise is the only problem that I I remember I had. Yeah, it's just one one question. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me check your other or she's okay. Yeah, your other or she's okay. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's the the question. No, it's, it's not question. It's like no other questions. The question number three. Yeah. Mm. But besides that, I finished the platform. Yeah. I mean, there's just a few of you that I need to push a little bit. Mm. There's a few. And actually, there's many of you who already finished. Hmm. That's great. Yeah, I'm checking the ones who have not. Um, yeah, it's going to be a a race. The so class. Yeah. Uh, uh, when it when yeah. I don't know, teacher. Give me a minute. My brain is just like um when we finish the when do we when do we finish the 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 course? Mm-hmm. Next Monday. Next Monday. Okay. And the next one starts like a weekend. Where we we're going to have a, a whole week, right? Like to rest or or, or they, something like did that. Did they send you already the, the the did they confirm to you the register for next course? Mm, you no, 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 no. The, the, um, the. Yeah, yeah. The administration. Oh, yeah, yeah. They send us a, an email uh, uh, asking for the, for the, for the information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, oh, well. the human resources already send that. Oh, the, the description. Yeah, we will wait uh, to see. 
to see when, how, and, and who. Okay. Because, you know, the problem is that uh, the, always in every module we lose one or two. Mm -hmm. That happens in the problem with this process is that we need to reach a certain amount of students per class. And, and for these levels, I mean, it's not usual that everybody gets in here. Mm -hmm. So Gets? But gets what, teacher? Gets? Gets enrolled. Ah, okay. And let me see. I'm checking like day after day in order to see how is the average of minutes doing. Okay, let's see. In this case we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm just Let's see, well, oh my gosh, you already got also the average of minutes. That's cool. That's excellent. Congrats. Thank you. That's great. No, that's great. I mean, it's good for you because, I mean, you can be enrolled in the next level quite easily. You just go straight, you finish the platform, you got everything ready, you're in. Woohoo! Yeah, cool, right? Yeah. The only step you need to finish is the the encuesta de satisfacción that is going to be the last day with the, you or the yeah, the last day. Yeah, with me. They haven't sent you yet the, the, the email, right? No, no yet. Most probably they will do it between tomorrow Maybe. or Friday. Friday. I think Friday. Yeah, but that's I mean, that's a little bit uh, nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Juliana, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo, hello, how are you? Okay, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you, man? Uh, so far, so good, teacher. Right now, driving to the house. Okay. Let me know when you arrive home so we can have a little conversation, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, Juan Carlos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? Uh, here, uh, a bit busy. Uh, I'm still working, but I, I have finished my, my shift, right? <laughs> but I, I have to do something, something else on my uh tasks pendings so i'm here <laughs> and you how are you uh quite busy as usual you know that's my <laughs> my routine is being quite busy all the time yes i can imagine that yeah but no big deal nothing to worry about mm -hmm. mister thank you and welcome to the class thank you Uh, Francisco, hello, Francisco. Francisco, how are you? Just fine. I cannot hear you properly. I'm sorry. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Uh, and now? Now I do. Okay, teacher. And from my uh, about my health, uh, I felt uh, better than yesterday. Even uh, 
even morning <laughs> because uh, I is uh, the cough is is minus. You sorry to say minus. It's less. It's less. Sorry, teacher. The cough uh, is less. Um, miss. Uh, uh, so, and I feel it. I'm feeling better. I feel it with the energy. <laughs> okay, that's good. Because uh, yesterday in the afternoon, I really feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I mean, that's uncomfortable. Right, issue. Sure. And today is is, is was a a yeah a, a common day, teacher. Uh, uh, now I start. And for uh, for me, uh, this uh, change the, the shift is is like a, a, a little rest because uh, uh, yesterday I had I had a morning shift and I go out to. To be in, and now I started uh, at a, a 10 p.m. and for me it's a, a little uh, a little rest. <laughs> okay, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, so glad that you are doing better. Thank you, teacher. Okay, just trying to do a little something here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 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 Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. What's so, that? Oh, it was my my myself on a mes um, message, coming message, the alarm. Uh, yesterday I couldn't uh, finish uh, the class and the connection because there was an issue with the internet. Yeah, so I yeah, hope. Yeah. You went uh, far uh, in our rain? stuff. Yes, a rain is is about to come, but I hope I'm not going to this uh -huh. the, the old trick, the old trick. Yeah. Oh come That's on, nice. DJ. <laughs> no, no, come on. No, it was like uh it was missing like less than half an hour or something like that to for the class to end, right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry for yeah. that. Uh, yeah, as soon as you left, you know, we had a big party here. You know, really? A lot of fun, yeah. I miss we knowing like, you eating pupusas yeah. and stuff. No, 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 don't, don't and go And eating that. elote loco. That's, that's bad, that's bad. You are so mean, you know. <laughs> no, I was mean. I was mean with my, with my, with my words. You were cruel. <laughs> Oh my God! It's time to. Hey, Claudia. Relax. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. The same. Uh, thanks to you. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Danny. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, um. I'm doing well. I think I just arrived from work. Already oh, work. Ouch. Yeah, no, it's because um, we were celebrating and a baby shower. <laughs> and 
what? A uh, baby shower. <laughs> no comments. Yeah. I'm allergic to those things, you know? Yeah, yeah, me too. And the games are so weird. I don't know. <laughs> and <laughs> but yeah, those, as I tell you, I'm allergic to those things. <laughs> men should be thankful that now we are integrating men to these activities. <laughs> I am so happy if you don't integrate me to those activities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But as long as you don't count me in those type of things, I am so so happy <laughs> as you wouldn't imagine. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, if there are no option in the in the in the work. <laughs> Yeah, you know, those things are like, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but just that to show it was a very calm day too. This week has been a very good week for me, <laughs> yeah, but just that. In a way, you have fun. That's good. Yeah, I am a little. <laughs> yeah. To be honest with you, whenever mm. they try to include me in that type of things, I run away. And, <laughs> and to be honest, it's because I have always, I mean, it's not it's not of the because of the type of activity. I mean, mm. uh, it's okay, people like them, they enjoy them, but I mean, it's the kind of like parties that they are like, ah. <laughs> like when they start playing games and stuff, man, yeah. <laughs> I run, I run away. The games, the games are very, uh, so weird, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's why uh, when I was, uh, in some places where I have worked, whenever there's uh, teachers, they, they prefer activities, big activities and stuff. And whenever they started playing games or something like that, <laughs> me and a couple of my co-workers, we used to start sneaking <laughs> out, you know? Like yeah. first, first getting I next get to the imagine. wall, then walking, 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 and then disappearing. <laughs> yeah. I, I was a magician because the disappearing act yeah, I could perform on those activities was so good. Uh, you have the Harry Potter. Um, oh, no, 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 no. That, that's a little kiddo compared to what I did at those events. <laughs> I mean, those events are not for me, to be honest, never have been, let's see, I don't yeah. like, it's just that the games, too, when they, and me, sometimes they try to push you to participate, <laughs> and I get like, uh, um, no, for me. Uh, but there are people that enjoy it. Yeah, of course, man, there's people who really enjoy those things. Yeah. And it's cool. I mean, that's that's the way they. Yeah, that's fun. cool. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I ain't got nothing against it. The only thing that I am against is me participating in them. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine the teacher playing a game like no, this. No. <laughs> Believe me. I mean. Uh, it's funny, you know, because uh, as a, at the, there was one institution where I was working that the people from uh, communications, they were like all the time taking pictures and posting them in the different uh, social media and stuff. And in five years, they could catch me just once smiling. <laughs> And it was because I didn't realize they were taking the picture. That was the only <laughs> time because that's something else that I don't do. I don't smile on pictures. Just poker face. <laughs> yeah. It's just that I don't like pictures. And normal. 
not on myself. I mean, there's people that enjoy that. There's a lot of people who really enjoy taking pictures. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Danny, so glad you are here and you are having fun. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Look, Heidi, give me a second. I need to take the attendance and then I come back with you, okay? Okay. Guys, let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagas Comerías. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. No. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Aire Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Aldanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Thank you, Roxana. And Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. Press. Thank you. Okay. Heidi, I was talking to you. I remember. I remember. Uh, hello, teacher. How's everything? Well, today I realized that I need a long vacation. Why? How <laughs> come you realize of that fact just now? It's, I feel really tired, you know. And it's been more than one year since I, I took the last vacation. How long? About a year and a half, maybe. Hmm. Okay, and but I feel like are, if it, it, it's been longer. <laughs> are you gonna get your vacation in anytime soon? I asked for them on July because my husband is coming. Oh, that's cool. So uh -huh, you're but, enjoy them together. Yeah, but they say no. But, oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. So they're not gonna give you vacation up to when? I don't know. Oh my gosh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Yeah, um, I mean, that happens with people in your position. I mean, it's difficult. Yeah, but this time I really think, I really feel that I need them. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine you have so many responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And I hope yeah, to get a few days in July. Yeah, yeah, that way you at can at least you can share and, and enjoy with your uh -huh. husband. That's yeah, that's necessary. Yeah, because I mean it's it's cool him being here with you guys, but it's not the same if you are like arriving late because you're working uh -huh, and exactly. you're not sharing that much time and just a couple of weekends is like mm, not enough. No. We'll see. 
Yeah, and if they don't give you vacation, it's the same problem. I mean, you cannot travel either. No, I'm not traveling this vacation. Well, we are having a, uh, we're going to to Lima on September with, with branch managers committee. Oh. But just for four days. Okay. Mm, you know those travels like just a few days there are like, man, you get tired. <laughs> yeah, but you have fun. Yeah, of course, of course. You have to make the most out of it. Because I mean, we've, those we've gone to Colombia and we've gone to to Mexico. To Cancun. Oh, nice. It's very nice, very nice. Yeah, sure. Colombia. Hmm. Uh -huh. What can you eat at Colombia? Oh, ants. <laughs> you can eat ants, fry, deep fry. No, I didn't eat. What? <laughs> we didn't eat ants. <laughs> no, but you can. I mean, yeah. <laughs> in some in some places they say it's cool. It's a, we are very Perfect. careful because we don't want to get sick. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I know that happens. Yeah, because I mean, we are not used to that type of diet. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. Yeah, I remember when I was young when I could eat whatever was in front of me. Now, you know, you got to think about your gastritis, then you think about your call. Man, that's crazy. Hmm. But, you know, you got to pay for what you enjoy when you were young. It's true. Yeah, I mean, I cannot complain. I have, I mean, once I heard somebody say that, if my face, if my skin is wrinkled is because of so many days that I enjoy the sun, hmm. if my bones hurt is because of so many times that I play, I run, I swam. Hmm. So, I mean. So it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. I mean, I have enjoyed it. Sure. There's a lot of, a lot of situations where I can say being there done that. But you gotta feel satisfied. I know, I know, but I I, I realized that I need vacation when I feel yeah. that I don't sleep enough. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you wake up and you feel uh -huh. the same <laughs> as when you went to bed. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> but it's coming, and when when I get my vacations, uh, uh, they give me 19, 19 days. But weekends oh, don't come. Sounds... They don't come. Weekends, oh really? Without weekends. Oh, that's uh, I mean that's cool. You get the whole month. Almost the whole month. Mm -hmm. Good for you. You know, to be honest with you, when they give me like the vacation like that long, the last four or five days are horrible for me. Oh really? Why? I get insomnia. Oh really? Yeah. Why? Because I need to be stressed, I guess. <laughs> yeah i mean uh, there's i reach a point where i need to go back to work because i get so bored you know i used to be like that i promise i used to be like that but since i got my kids and um so many things to do I, i'm not anymore i really enjoy vacations i try yeah, to do course. everything i have to do the first two weeks Go to the doctor if I need to get passport or, or driver's license, whatever. I do it the first two weeks and the last days I take them just for me. That's cool. No, in my case is just that my son is fine, up to 19. I mean, he's in his own world right now. Hmm. So it's just me, her, me, books. What I do is I fix everything in my house. Really? Yeah. If not, I look for something to do, like extra hours. Uh -huh. Like for this December, I already got a, a couple of classes that I'm going to do. Small project. It's going to be fun. So I 
I try to keep busy, not that busy, but a little bit. A bit of me. It's important to get busy. Yeah. Heidi, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Pleasure for me too. Let's see. Still the time? Yeah, still the time. Even though we are going to be working with the manual tonight, we are going to let me make a small pause. Let's see. Tonight we're going to be working with the manual. We have us. Uh, uh, a couple of questions and then we are going to do an analysis of our reading then i got the grammar explanation a couple of exercises related to that grammar it's quite simple the grammar that we are going to be analyzing today is nothing to worry about so we got time we got time i still got a couple of minutes to talk to some of you let's see who else is around mm -hmm. Uh, Marcos, hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, fine. Uh, day, another day, a little bit relaxed, but with so, some problems, too, but I don't know. Just a normal day for me. What about you, teacher? Did you go to the gym? No, on Wednesdays, I don't. I don't mm. go Wednesdays. Usually on Wednesday, I have, uh, I almost always have meetings around 6 p.m. And then I was doing, I was at the same time doing some homework and, you know, quite okay. busy. So Wednesdays, I don't. Okay. And for me, I had two days in a row doing exercise in my home in my home so this day i rest for the exercise because it's not oh, that's nice it's not quite healthy to do exercise all every day i i yeah, really no 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 it isn't it isn't you know it's funny in my house i got some implements to do exercises i got dumbbells i got uh no, we got a, a, a boxing bag and we got many things. But here at home, the only exercise I do is with the remote control. If I got free time, it's with the remote control. <laughs> I just exercise a couple of fingers. <laughs> uh, with the tough one too, you can do finger exercise. <laughs> Yeah, and um, uh, another exercise that I would like that I like to do is ride the the bike. The my bike uh, broke down down the the stream or I don't know who is the the correct word for this this or the bike, but it's uh make um like a part of the bike that handles and uh, the changes between different I don't know uh, marches or velocidades uh, uh, shifts <laughs> yeah that that part is broke so I can mm. ride my bike and I like to to, to do that extra because um to my work my job and the nature of my job i spend all the time it so i don't walk too much so i need to, to do exercise in my legs it's very uh, important to me use the the bike but it's broke now and yeah i don't have the time to go to one workshop and and fix fix it up but i guess in saturday i will be able to to go okay well interesting thank you welcome okay teacher thanks
Well, guys, I got a couple of questions that you need to talk. If you remember, we have been talking about, uh, well, the name of the unit is management and motivation, and we are going to talk a little bit about it. Just let me uh, show you the, in your manual, in page number 36. We're going to start working on that. Let me share with you. In the ISAPOR manual, page number 36. Unit four, management and motivation. And number one, what are some of, some of the most common ways to make employees' merits known to their coworkers? Is it effective to recognize employees based merely on tenure? Okay, these two questions are the ones that, that we're gonna be working on, okay? Let me get them to you. Just a second. There you go, you got them right here and I'm also gonna send it to the group, don't worry. But, I'm going to send it to working groups right now. Let's see. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Page. Sí. What are some the most common ways to make it place merits? Okay, so let's start. So, <laughs> okay, Roxana, uh, what are some of the most common ways to employees merit know the to their co-workers? Sorry, teacher, what is merit? Merit. Merit, ah, okay. What do you think about it? The most common ways. Oh, you see, Roxana, your microphone do work. Hmm. Right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No comments, no comments. Mm. It was my opportunity to reserve my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, my point of view about that is um, maybe when you have a meeting with uh, all, with the whole group and Oh. Hi, teacher. I think Irene has the word Fred are not available. I don't okay, know. Okay, well, here am I. So let me let me it, ask you, what are some of the most common ways to make employees merits known to their co-workers? Um, I think that, well, in, the, in my company, sometimes, not always, they have this kind of program. Um, I don't know if, if this is the right way to say, but like the employee of the mom, or yeah. That yes. Means. Yeah. How many mm -hmm. times have but you been? Not always. Hmm? Oh, no, it, uh, it's in some areas. For oh, example, okay. it's more it's um more common in and with the uh, with the sellers. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it really motivates uh -huh. them. And of course they get a, a bonus or something like that. Yeah, where if they achieve their goal, uh, well, they, they win the commission. And sometimes, for example, uh, the boss choose the best seller, the best woman seller and the best man seller. And sometimes prepare a, a present or something for the two best. Mm -hmm. okay. hmm. yeah, you know, I think that uh, that that could be an uh, a common way to make that make 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 employees feel recognize recognize yeah. Recogn mm -hmm. yeah you, you could yeah you know in my case it's different because in my area I mean hmm, hmm. It's difficult to see it to, to, to recognize that because I mean we work individually and we got a, mm. a group and we work with that group and I mean we don't interact in that way with other co-workers. Mm -hmm. So it's I mean yeah, never been in that situation. And my other the other jobs I perform are the are the same. I mean, are different type of activities that are unrelated totally. So, well, let's go to the next question. Mm -hmm. The next question I have the manual right here. Is it mm. effective to recognize employees based merely on tenure? I yeah. don't understand the question, teacher. Um, okay. Tenure. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. the that's the key word. Tenure. The oldest one in the company. Oh. Okay, or okay. how old you are on the company. Okay. Is if it's recognizable merely on tenure? Mm, yeah, I think it's important. For example, in the, in my company, uh, in the last December, we had the. Christmas dinner, and um, the my boss, the director, uh, he gave a an speech for all the oldest employees, and they made a video with a photo and how many years they 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 had in the company, and everybody was like, oh, that's for example. Uh, one of, of the oldest boss that, that we have is um, a woman and her name is Berta, but everybody calls her Bertita. And she, and everyone was, oh my God, it is Bertita. And yeah, and some claps and you know, uh, I think, and I felt that the employees felt very, very, very uh, happy because they, they saw their names and a big screen and, and the photo and, and you know, I think that was a, a very emotive moment. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, anyway. Hmm. How long have you worked for the company? Uh, almost three years. Oh, okay, you're on your way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're a baby in the company. Yeah. Is this your first job? No, right. No, you told me once that you work in a company selling uh, something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a store, a okay. little store. Mm -hmm. How many jobs have you had? Well, like formal, formal, two. The last one and this one. But my first job was with my dad. Mm -hmm. He used to, yeah, he had a, um, his... Uh, I forgot how to say it. Uh, contador. Accountant. Count. Uh, like what? Accountant. Account. Yeah. And he for 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 a couple of years he had a, a her his own company, you know, and he thought no, not teach me. He taught me. 
told me uh, a lot of things. So uh, I I remember that that I worked with him a couple of, of months and I learned a, a lot of things. But my first job with my dad, not very formal, you know. But then I started to to the the university, and in the middle of the uh, the career, I started to work. I told my dad that, "Daddy, I I I I want to," and he told me like, "Are you sure?" And I mean, in and I told him, "Yeah, I want to try," and he was like, "Okay, it's okay if you want." And, but I, I always had his support. And yeah, I had my, my first formal job at my 17, 18, like my 20s, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. okay. And I worked for, for that store two years and a half. And then uh, I, the, the opportunity, a friend told me that about this, the, the opportunity to work in, in Claro. And I applied for the, for the position and, you know, now here I am. And yeah, this is my, my second formal job. Okay, okay, well. Thank you, quite interesting. Yeah, let's see, in my case, my first formal job was when I was 17. Yep, 17. 17, very young. Yeah, it, it was funny, you know, because in the company, uh, they used to pay us with checks and I couldn't change my checks. So I was always asking a coworker, hey, go pay for me. <laughs> oh yeah, because for the age. Because of the age, yeah. But it was fun. I mean, man, I really had fun. I was young and too dumb. <laughs> what did you do with your first pay check? <sighs> well, to be honest with you, those were hard days. I remember that year my dad was pretty sick, so Almost totally, I gave it to mom. No, oh, okay. Yeah. But it was a big satisfaction to be able to help. Yeah, definitely. I felt that the same way when uh, when I started to 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 work in Claro uh, and the pay obviously is better. I felt very, very proud of myself and 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 the that feeling, you know, that I can help in my in my house. At home. Uh, in my home, I think. Uh, at home. At home was I don't know, was a special. Because for many years uh, they they gave me all the support. And and yeah, that was special for me well the rest of the paycheck some of them man i used to party <laughs> it's just that i well when i was 19 i had a very very good salary i mean i worked for a company a couple of months and i was earning like four uh four minimums salaries per month per mo oh my god it was cool. Oh my god! But I was nineteen, so imagine. Hey, let's go back. <laughs> okay. No, solo para. My bad. Sorry. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Questions. Okay, what are some of the most common ways to make employees' merits be known to their co-workers? What do you think 
about it. Uh, 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 um, Ana Claudia, tell me, what are some of them? Uh, some of the most common ways to make employees uh, merits, right? No, yeah. uh, to their co-worker. Um, sending a general email, it, because this is the most common ways to make employees merits knows to their co-workers. Yeah. What in the company they do is they uh, send a spe special email with all the mentioning the, the, the outcomes. And also there are, there is a, like a kind of messenger, there is a program Slack, I, I, I guess you know it. So there is a channel in this Slack where they make the uh, shout outs and they make mentions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That is how we know that someone is achieving something or doing something extra. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see. Thank you very much. Suleyma. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. Tell me, Suleyma, uh, related to the second question. Is it effective to recognize employees based merely on tenure? What do you think? Um, yeah, for me it's effective because um, that kind of um, rec recognize, um, how do you say premier? Award, no, reward, reward. Award, yeah, that kind of recognize is important because uh, you award the loyalty to the, to the company. Because, uh, for example, it's really difficult uh, when you are training people all the time. So when the people stay in your company is better because your process are uh, better, um, are more effective. So uh, recognize uh, your the time in the company for me is so effective to the performance for the company. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, now we are going to go back to the manual and we are going to do this exercise. But before moving on, gosh, time flies. Let's get this second attendance so we can get rid of it. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Este, yeah, antes no le pude contestar porque estaba muteado no el, el, el micrófono. Okay. No problem, so. no problem. Don't worry. I got you there. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastone Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Collar Albanés. Present Marcos. teacher. Thank you, Irene. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. 
Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's go to the next exercise. Okay. We got us here a conversation. We have to read the conversation, then circle the examples of employee recognition strategies. It goes like this. My employees are not as motivated as I would like, although the company invested a lot in motivational development. Employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition programs. While rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right, rewarding them with longer paid vacations could improve their performance. I guess you're right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic. Even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month award works for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm, although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan, implementing it along the mission and goals of the company will be a greater improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Okay, guys, I will repeat the conversation. My employees are not as motivated as I would like. Although the company invested a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean, you see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition programs. While rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right, rewarding them with longer paid vacations could improve their performance. I guess you are right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic. Even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month of work worked for a couple of months, Motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Hmm. Although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds, sounds like a good plan, implementing it along the mission and goals of the company will be a great improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Okay, guys. Examples of employee recognition strategies. What we got here? Do you have anyone that you can tell me of the ones that you see here? Let's see, let's see. Um, Roxana. Yes. Tell me, do you see an, an example of recognition strategies? Mm, recognition strategy. I'm not sure. Let me see. Mm. I give you a clue. Sorry? I'll give you a clue. Look, a recognition strategy, extra bonuses. That's yeah, how we wish to recognize their job. Or maybe when when your company 
to get another good position, maybe? Okay, yeah, yeah. But we are we are asking about the ones that you got here in the conversation. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm reading. That's okay. That's okay. Mm. Rewarding them with longer paid vacation. Oh, thank you. Hey, Roxana, this one is already taken. Okay. Longer paid vacations. You need to look for another one. Eliana, yes, tell me. The, the employee of the month. The employee of the month. The employee of the month award. Okay. Okay, let me just a little something here. Okay, do we have another one? Guys, who's got another one? Peer-to-peer -peer stories of success. Okay, another way to motivate, peer-to-peer. Great. There's one more. The last one, rewards on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Right? These are ways in which a company can recognize the, the, the employee's performance. Now, let's see. Okay, guys. We have to check the characteristics that belong to an engaged employee. Discuss your choices with two classmates. The employee feels dissatisfied with his work. The employee enjoys and believes in his own her work. The employee fully commits to their role in the company, feels valued by the employer, by the employer exerts little effort to contribute to the business, takes pride in their organization. Okay, those are those are uh, uh, different attitudes of the employee. You are going to tell me which ones belong to an engaged employee. When we are talking about an engaged employee, we are talking about an employee who is really working for the company, okay? I'm going to send you to the groups to discuss a little bit about this. I need you to analyze and tell me why do you think that person is engaged? How that attitude shows that he or she is really engaged, okay? This is quite short, five minutes is enough because after that, we are gonna come with a, a little bit of grammar, okay? For the whole account of time, teacher. Okay, no problem, no problem.
let me uh, we're going to circle the example of employee recognition strategies no um we have to work in the activity number three check the characteristics okay. that belong to an engaged employee discuss your choices with two classmates Mm -hmm. So, okay. do you think that with the first characteristic, the employee feels dissatisfied with his work? Do you think that, that this is a characteristic that belongs to an engaged employee? No. No, because he feels dissatisfied. Yeah, I very agree with you. Oh yeah, my God, sorry. Well, the second characteristic, the employee enjoys and believes in his, her work. Yes. I think that this is a characteristic to mm -hmm. that belong to an engaged employee. Mm -hmm. Number three, fully, um, fully. Teacher, how do you pronounce this word, commits? I'm sorry? Yeah, this word in the number three, fully commits. 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 Yeah, okay, commits. thank you. Fully commits to the role in the company. Yes. Yes, it's a characteristic. Number four, feels valued by the employer. Yes. Yeah. I think. Number five, exerts little effort to contribute to the business completely. Yes. Yes. And number six, takes pride in the organization. Yes. I think that the, the the number five and six are the most um are the characteristics maybe I don't know how to say it more that I don't know how to say I, it, teacher. Uh, more, like more, more focused on the company. Um, yeah, but and that, the only focus. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. How can I say what what is in my head? Um, I think that the number five and number six maybe could be the most representative, maybe. Yes, I agree with you. Because when I read, like, exerts little effort to contribute to the business, I think that the employee is not just working for, for his or her own. He's working for the company, truly working for the company, not just for their, their own, um, this word, benefit. And number six, well, when you feel very engaged with, with your work, you feel really proud to work at, at the, for the company, I think. That mm -hmm. Also, number three, fully commits to the role in the company. Maybe the big works not just for work, just for get paid at the end of the month.
teacher. I'm eating oh, your microphone. Yes, tell me. I'm eating a vegan donut. A what? I don't know if that's the correct <laughs> word. A vegan, vegan donut? No, no, no vegan. No. <laughs> Aren't they all vegans? Vegan donut. Yeah. Aren't they all? No, no, son todas. Mm? Aren't they all vegan? Vegan? Vegan donuts. Yeah. What's the difference See? between a vegan donuts and a regular donut? Mm, well, my friend told me that vegan donuts are prepared without milk. Um, also without um oil but but i don't know like the regular oil this just just like bake it with a kind of vegetable oil also these donuts um doesn't 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 have yeah doesn't have a um artificial flavors and yeah, I it's my first time tasting this kind of donuts. Are they any good? But it, it tastes good, yeah, yeah. You should try once. <laughs> A good experience. Mm, mm, it's vegan. Yeah, I I think I can you I can I'm gonna show you my vegan donut. I don't know. Sorry, my camera. But have chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah, but it's That's vegan. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm against everything that is vegan. No, no, kidding. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, Thank guys. You. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see who's gonna be. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, no, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to uh, another exercise right now. Before the grammar explanation, we need to go back to page number 34. We have an exercise there that we need to, to, to analyze together, okay? Okay. Uh, according to the exercise, we need to use a dictionary to find the definitions of the terms extrinsic and intrinsic. Next, you have to classify the incentives in the box below in the correct category, extrinsic or intrinsic. We got meaningful work, bonuses, health insurance, healthy relationships, vacations, promotions, progress and training, praise and feedback, participation, decision-making, recognition, and fun. Okay, you need to place them according to categories, okay? I'll give you three minutes for you to do it. Then we're gonna come back here and I'm going to give you the answers, okay? So we can jump fast to that exercise, but I need you to do it because it's very important. That vocabulary, we're gonna be using it a couple of days. So uh, you got in the rooms? Okay, teacher, 
Yeah. What in, in intrinsic means? Come on, guys, you gotta look for it. Express okay. or characteristic. The instruction the is for you to look for it. Ah, okay. And, and not depend on the circumstance. Okay. Four. Meaningful work. Non natural essential assets for our complete. First, a really interesting value in terms of math, because of our outstanding. Being extremely important on the basis of the expression. Interest reward for those incentive being given to the employees in the organization. Okay. It's bonuses. It depends because uh, in my case, I work in sales. It's intrinsic. My base salary plus bonus. Mm -hmm. But maybe if we're talking about bonuses, additional bonuses for Extremes and intrinsic. I think they apply in both. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Both. Let's put it in both. Mm -hmm. Health insurance is like seguro social. Mm -hmm. <laughs> intrinsic. Healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. That is like the. <laughs> the atmosphere or environment in the workplace. Mm -hmm. mm, that is, <laughs> I don't know, extrinsic. Depend, depend, de, depend the department. Yes, but. <laughs> the whole <distal. laughs> Yes, I will yeah. put that like extrinsic because mm -hmm. it's not something, that would be the idea. Uh, okay. hmm, I don't know. Do you think we need to put them in both okay. or just one? Mm -hmm. The potential in drinks. Mm -hmm. Promotion in drinks. Mm -hmm. It depends. Mm. Can we, hi, the chair, can we put some of them in both categories? Up to you. Uh -huh. I think that is it. Uh -huh. Teacher, what is the meaning of meaningful work? Sorry? What is the meaning of meaningful work? Meaningful. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Hmm that if 
it has uh, uh, important, that it is important. It could be like significant, maybe. Yeah. And synonym. Yeah. It could be understood like that. Also, uh, when the work is perceived as meaningful, uh, is when what you do gives you a sense of fulfillment. When what you do uh, provides you with a psychological sense of well-being, you feel satisfied of what you do. When you feel that way, your, your job is meaningful, okay? Because it has a meaning for you. It, it doesn't have a meaning, uh, El problema es el, perdón, voy a pasar a español solo un instante. Eh, el uso de la palabra. Normalmente relacionamos la palabra meaningful con significado, pero significado lo relacionamos con definición. En este caso estamos diciendo que el trabajo es significativo para nosotros. Okay? It means something for you. That's the idea you got when you say that it's meaningful. Did I make myself clear? Is it correct? No yeah. question? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is it? What I was. Doing? Oh, right. Okay, guys, we got it like this. We have intrinsic rewards, meaningful work. It means something for you. Healthy relationships, you feel good. Remember, intrinsic is inside. Praise and feedback, participation in the decision making process, recognition and fun, those are intrinsic rewards. Extrinsic are the ones that don't depend on you because they are given to you, like bonuses, health insurance, vacations, promotions progress and training, right? These are extrinsic because as I told you, they are given. Questions, guys? Nope, okay. Now let me just get something set because we need to do... Hmm. We need to go to the uh, little grammar explanation we have here. It's quite simple. Up to this moment, before I jump into the grammar, any question about the class, the exercises we have performed? No, teacher. We cool? Yes. Okay, thank you. You got any questions, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Remember, you, if you don't want to say it here, you can text me. No problem. No, DJ. I don't have any question. Okay, thank you. So let's see. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Right here. We go back to the manual, uh, page number 37, uh, section number four. How to use subordinate clauses with adverbs of concession. Look, adverbs of concession. Now, you have to look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercises below. We use adverbs like although, even though, and while to express concession. But this is the main, the key part, okay? A clause of concession expresses an idea that suggests the opposite of the main part of the sentence. So, Look, what it does is give an idea that suggests the opposite, the contrary. Like, while external factors play an important role in employee engagement, there is proof that intrinsic factors are of utmost importance. Look, you are saying that if you have external factors, they're important. But 
intrinsic factors are of utmost importance, bigger importance. Okay? So you express the opposite of the main part of the sentence. So in this case, the main part of the sentence is this. And we are expressing an idea that suggests the opposite. Yeah, we know that external factors play an important role in employee engagement, but intrinsic factors are more important. Although we provide some memorative gifts and freebies, the workers at the site kept complaining they wanted to have the day off. Sometimes you don't care about what they give you. You want a day for resting. Even though the morale was down because of the economic crisis in the company, employees kept engaged and committed to their work. Look, even though the morale was down because of the economic crisis in the company, the employees kept engaged and committed. So there was a crisis. Morale was down, but the opposite. Employees kept engaged and committed. Any question about these clauses, guys? Remember, the key is right here. Although, even though, while, that's the key. Now, the exercise you got you need to place the adverb. More than one adverb is possible in some cases. Let's see what's your style, guys. I'm going to send you to working groups again. You're going to have like three minutes. It's enough for this exercise. I'm going to be waiting here for you because then you're going to tell me what you got. Okay. Groups are open.
Okie dokie. Everybody's here. Let me do so. Ah, set up. Okay. I'm gonna share with you. Here we go. Okay, Fernando, what you got in number two? In number two, teacher, I have. Aldo. 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 Aldo they, okay. Aldo, they were warned against doing so. The supervisors went ahead with the project. Okay, yes, it's okay. You can use Aldo or you can use even though. Even, okay. Number three, let's see. Heidi, you've been quiet, Heidi. Tell me what you got for number three. Let's see, Danny, what you got for me? In number three? Um, let me see. Uh, in number three, I have, um, even though he lacked experience in the field, he became a successful businessman. Okay, perfect. Excellent. You can also okay. use Aldo in this situation. Thank you. Now, Jose Ming, number four. Okay. Okay, let's see. Even though. Even though. Read it, please. Okay. So. Even though he has been working here for six months, he never seems to know what to do. Great, thank you. Now, Irene, number five. Number five, even though there were many difficulties, the project started on time and was a success. Okay, that's fine. Now, Maria Alejandra. Okay. Number six. I think that uh, all, do. The, all that the company is one of the pictures in the world, it offers the most employee recogn recognition system. Oh, that's okay. Even though you can also use here while, while the company is one of the richest in the world, it offers the worst employee recognition system. Okay, now let's see. Let me just get into little something here. Okay. In the last one, in the from two to five, you could have used even though or although. It's okay. Just in the last one, you could use you could use the tree of them. You can also use while. Okay. Now let's continue. Uh, if you remember, we've been working the world class, we've been talking about the motivation, okay? Now, you're going to be working in groups. You will have eight minutes for the next activity. What are you going to do? I need you to present, not just to me, to the class, a chart strategy 
for motivation to motivate the employees of a company, any company. Okay, it doesn't matter the company, but which strategies would you as a group implement to recognize uh, people's uh, job, okay? What they do, what they perform in the company. So, any question about the activity? Oh, I want sentences, please write them down. I need pictures, I need to see what you're doing. So let's jump in. If you, get, if you need any help, raise your hand and I'll go to your group, okay? Hello. Hello. Strategy. Motivation. Strategy. Okay. Um, then you, you have a computer to make the presentation. No, no. Just we just have to and create it and write down. Okay. So, what do you think about the programs, recognition programs? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, recognition, the loyalty. To the company, I think it's a good program. Well, we we I'm starting to to write okay. our company. Our company. And we'll, Bye. Bye. Um, first, what what do you say? The first uh, recognition, loyalty. Recognition. Wait, is, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Recognition loyalty program. Program. Okay. In which in which we we give what do we, what do we give? Uh, for example, uh, you can recognition uh, for the employees that have um. No, the the, uh, the award, the the reward. What? Ah, uh, the reward. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Gift and. Maybe, or... maybe in a day off, or for example, a bonus, mm -hmm. or maybe a gift card. Bonus. Um. Gift. Um, well, just that. And the other one, um, uh, for example, um, public, public recognition, recognition, yeah. public, um, public, public recognition, um, through, through the email, I think. To the whole company? Yep. Yeah. 
Bonus for achieve goals. Yeah. For the performance, right? For performance, right? Okay. Um, Pay vacation about all the um, market. Pay vacation, yeah. The percentage uh, has to be above all the market. Mm -hmm. Ideas recognition. What? Ideas recognition. It's like an innovation program. Uh, or for example in my company is a manufacturing so um, the most of the employees have a production production bonus oh, okay <laughs> yeah, um, what else? Uh, mm, employee of the month? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> very, very fun. Yeah, yeah that's, nice. that's that's good. Employees of the month with with a gift, right? Or a day off? Um, maybe with a recognition event and a day off. Finish, guys. Ready? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. So tell me, how do you think we can recognize people's uh, performance? We could give them an award on their anniversary. Okay. For the company. That's nice. Yeah, I remember a company I work for, they used to give us a reward every five years. We used to have an economic award, you know, used to. Yeah. <laughs> 
it was the same at that company. It was a little thing, but I mean, it was nice. Little extra is always good. Everything that has to see with economic oh, yeah, bonus, yeah. believe Makes me, it's people's favorite. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, I mean, we were always expecting counting the days for the five years. <laughs> Let's go back to the main room. Okay, teacher. Let's see, everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Okay, let's see. We are going to listen to a couple of you guys. Jose hmm. Smith, Juan Carlos, uh, Marcos. Tell me, guys, how would you reward people's performance in their jobs? Okay, so one of the, like the improvements so that we can make, so it's like uh, congr congr congratulate to the employees who are making a good performance or a good job, express good phrases in order to feel them comfortable. Okay, that's peer to peer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome. Now, group number two, there's Siriana, Irene, and Jose Wilfredo. What you got for me, guys? Uh, we chose a, a, as incentive, a gift card incentive as a plus re reward. And the plan we think about is, first of all, maybe set the goals. And then communicate the goals to the employees. And then after that, check who's achieved the goal at the end of the month. Publicly recognize employees who have been successful and then just give the gift cards. Okay, That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome. Anna Claudia, what you got for me? Thank you, teacher. We were discussing with Ada, and we think that the equality in the uh, company roles, that means that it doesn't matter if he's a man or a woman, uh, realizing the task, they will be uh, paid the same. Uh, the second, it will be promote new goals and shout out to the ones achieving them. Then we have bonus for attendance. That helps a lot. Uh, <laughs> also to provide the appropriate tools to develop the job. And also we think that, uh, I don't know if we are using correct this word, stability, stability in the okay. company. Uh, those are the ones we discuss. 
Perfect, thank you. Now let's see. There was Danny, Maria Alejandra, and Suleyma. Let's see, let's see. Danny, tell me. Okay, we were discussing um, our motivation strategy, and we're going to uh, recognize um, the loyalty pro. We want to have a a, a, a loyalty program uh, in which we will bonus and give to the to the employees and also. Uh, public recognition through the email to all the company and bonus for achieved goal performance and another one um, pay vacation above the market and innovation programs and reward for the best ideas and provide a private healthy insurance insurance and alliance with stores and gyms and something like that <laughs> in order to employees have discounts. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Well, hold on. Now guys, it's time for our last attendance. So let me please get ready for you. Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagascume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Juliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Sensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleyma Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Quite interesting class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Teacher. Yes? Excuse me. I love a five minute to review the platform. Uh, well, I was checking the platform and right now you just got uh, It's a problem, continue teacher. Yes, eh, estaba hablando hoy por la noche con el... Con el Luis. Todos los, no, 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 no. Ah, ok. Este, me decía de que se está trabajando porque el problema es, si sí es de que la, el, estaba corrupto el la aplicación, pero es no es en sí la aplicación, sino tuvo un problema con el código de su cuenta, me dijeron, a la hora de registrar dentro de la plataforma. Entonces, se está trabajando para solventarlo desde la plataforma. 
-huh. este, me comentaba él también que habían conversado con usted este día. Sí, sí, teacher. Al respecto, le explicaba yo al joven Luis que yo me quedé trabajando hasta noche. Por favor, apague. Entonces, como que no habían revisado todos los mensajes y todos los audios. Bueno, audios no, sino que los videos, ¿verdad? Y me decía él, es que usted pone todo malo. Mire, le digo, realmente... No sé si estará malo, pero aquí en las fotos yo le evidencio a usted cuando estoy trabajando y le mando cada tarea revisada, ¿verdad? Entonces me dice, no, pero es que está malo. De ahí se puso a revisar él que desde el 16 de mayo yo le expuse el problema a Katherine, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, parece que no habían ellos revisado las fotos, todo, ¿verdad? Porque como es en cantidad... O sea, yo no he estado, eh, no me he continuado de, de estarles manifestando el, el detalle. Me decía, cámbiese de computadora. Anoche me quedé en la computadora aquí de la casa. Eh, como usted me recomendó, ya no utilicé el teléfono. Y hoy me traje la computadora de, de la empresa para trabajar en ella porque me dijo Luis que me iban a crear un perfil nuevo o que entrar en el perfil del correo de mi hija, le mandé el correo de la niña, me enviaron un enlace hoy por la tarde que yo vine, traté de entrar a la unidad 1, igual, yo trabajo y al ir al progreso no aparece nada o aparece un porcentaje bien mínimo. Vea, sí, entonces... Le, le vamos a seguir dando seguimiento porque sí, este eso hablábamos con mi jefe ahora, que es un caso de lo más extraño. Sí, porque yo no quise ni de, de contactar a la gente de, de cómputo, vea, porque es meter ya personas ajenas al problema o ajenas a, 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 el, a, la, a, la, a la clase, vea. Entonces, solo le comenté a la encargada de recursos humanos, vea, el problema que... Pues sí, porque a los jóvenes eh, le hacen pensar a uno que uno no ha trabajado, ¿verdad? Y en realidad a mí me cuesta, me cuesta un poco porque yo lo hago por la noche, casi por la noche, ya tarde, y en horas de trabajo, cuando yo soy en el Seguro Social o en otro hospital, a mí me cuesta, pues no puedo andar cargando la computadora en todos lados, y en el celular, pues a veces son fallas que uno no puede eh, prever, ¿verdad? Y a veces he entrado en el celular y he trabajado todo este tiempo los módulos ahí, y, y no había habido problema, hasta el módulo anterior que sí tuve bastante problema para para ver ese progreso. Sí, desde que es de lo más extraño, como le digo, pero sí se está trabajando, se está buscando dónde está el problema. El porque, sí, sí, porque nos está sí. dando dolor de cabeza, créanme. Sí, así y es. Comprendemos, el... comprendemos totalmente su, su incomodidad, pero estamos trabajando en ello y lo tenemos que solucionar. Vamos a estar pendientes, okay, es igual el día de mañana. Thank you very much. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. So let's see. A question. Yes, tell me. Ask me. Am I, I include this this module in the survey? I'm sorry. We will do a survey. This module. I cannot hear you quite well. Siento creo que me está fallando. Y ahora. Ahora un poco mejor. Eh, le preguntaba por la encuesta. No sé si. Estoy incluido este modo. Sí, 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 no se preocupe. Vamos bien. Ah, okay. es que no he recibido tampoco. No, no sé si a lo no, Nadie, nadie lo ha recibido. Ah, ok. La gracias, va para el día lunes. Ah, ok. Cuando terminamos el módulo, el lunes. El lunes. Ah, ok. Gracias. No problem. Any question, Dani? María Alejandra, where are you? <laughs> Stay here, teacher. María Alejandra, I am a little bit worried with you. Why? Because it's been, let's see, around three classes. Yeah, three classes that um, I feel you a little bit like, mm, I don't know if it's tired. <laughs> your participation, your level has lowered down a little bit. 
No, teacher, yesterday when I stay without me, I try to work, only work uh, him and me, because I have a say in the group, they say two people more, but um, Luis and the other don't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And um, only... That must probably be the problem. The people uh -huh. with whom I have gotten you. Okay, I will take it into an account because I need you uh, speaking more. So I will I will get you with some people that speak more. Okay, mm -hmm. but yeah. I need you that when I send you to group, to open your microphone. Doesn't matter with whom you are and start speaking. And now, do you remember last time I gave you some exercises? Have you worked on one on what I gave you? Uh, no. no teacher, but okay. I try, I try to. Let's do uh, something. Next week, you are not going to have classes. Uh -huh. You can work on that and I will be pushing you to work on that. Just a <laughs> minute per day, okay? Okay, teacher, no more yes. Than 10 minutes. I will. Uh, I right. want to help you because I want you speaking at a higher level and in order to do that we need to practice more so i hope you don't mind me pushing you like that is it okay for you if i start like sending you messages exercises extra stuff yes teacher is not problem for me i think that i don't participate in all the group because i many occasions i open my microphone and the other person don't say anything and oh, let me know. know let me know when that happens so i can switch you from that group uh -huh. For the example, the last week when you say me that I you say my name and I can't participate uh, in this group, all the class, uh, my group can open the microphone and I don't know, it's very uncomfortable for me because Please, or the people a, finish. Send me a message. Send me a message. Or, or the people finish that how they exercise and close and the microphones. Uh -huh. And I I only have the situation in this group or this uh -huh, in this girl because in the other um, you see that I talk people for the different talking, things. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, but in this group I think that the the persons don't talk anymore. In, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's good. What you can do is send me a message and tell me we finish it. So mm -hmm. I can jump in and to the group and start asking and start making people talk. Okay, if any like that okay. happens again, please do that. Send me a message private so I can jump in and see how can I help. Okay. Okay, teacher. Go it's to sleep, okay for Maria me. You're asleep already. Thank you, teacher. I don't have a good week. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night.